Hello everyone and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please share the video. So a kind reminder my friends that tomorrow Wednesday we will actually be having some important news such as the FOMC statement on the USD dollar pairs which will gonna be out by 10 p.m. Dubai time, 6 p.m. GMT time. Also, the Australian dollar will be actually affected by the annual CPI news, which will be out soon actually after like 7 hours from now at 5.30 a.m. Dubai time, 1.30 uh, a.m. GMT time. So please be careful and aware that these news might actually make an impact on the uh, signals that you are about to receive in this video. Uh, most of the signals that I'm sending here, of course, relying on the fundamentals, but of course, it's ba mainly based on the technical. But of course, we can never ignore the fundamentals. And for that, I'm telling you, please be careful and wise to close any order before the news hit the market. Uh, another thing I want to mention, guys, of course, is our VIP group of Telegram. Uh, we are really so proud that yesterday we have made alone 286 pips of profit in one day alone, including, of course, uh, some signals that we're running from last week. Uh, your CAD hit the tech profit level 3, making 256 pips of profit. That was an amazing day, and I'm, uh, I think uh, the members are glad for the experience, and thankfully we have here some likes, which means the also uh, happy and appreciate the experience with the signals that they have received here in the VIP group. This is of course the VIP group of Telegram. As you can see, Eurocad hit the tech profit level 3, 260 pips of profit. And as you can see guys, very small losses, a few losses here and there, but majority are actually in green and in profit. So, of course, I'm so happy for that. The VIP group is back and we are actually back on business. Uh, thankfully, we have been able to recover most of the losses that we had uh, in the early or actually la uh, late last uh, month. So, of course, guys, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below of this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, guys. So, I believe most of you have seen what happened with the pound GPY signal and unfortunately it went in loss and this morning actually i have sent you here another deal of the day to sell the euro pound and as you can see it's running in deep profit um it hasn't been exactly to been triggered but it was just like five pips far away from being triggered and i sent you actually i said in the video that you can sell right away i hope so i think i said that and as you can see, it's running in profit. I have entered it personally and made good profit with it. But the problem is I actually exit my trade right here only. So I just got like 15 or 16 pips. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope the signal have made it up to you. And hopefully you have actually taken the signal and enjoying the profits. Also, not to mention the gold uh, from the last weekly analysis video, which actually done really well. And the gold has went in total of 150 pips of profit before reverses back and currently running in 44 pips of profit. Euro USD, of course, has um, went in the loss. As we can see, it has exceeded the edge of the safe zone. Pound USD is running in profit, as we can see so far, uh, 47 pips. AUD USD actually running in uh, 32 pips of loss. Um, USD CAD has failed, as, failed, as we can see. USD GPY uh, still ranging at the entry. NZD USD hasn't been triggered, but hit the take profit level. And the gold, as we have seen, went well. So... I think in general I'm doing well. Uh, thankfully, I think at least 75% of my signals are running in the right direction. And I hope, guys, that uh, I, I have made it up to you after the disaster <laughs> pound GPY signal. Anyway, guys, let's see now what we can do next in the market for the remaining days of this week. And let's now begin with the Euro USD. So there is a problem here. I've sent a signal to buy the Euro USD from that previous level of resistance. But as you can see, the market has just ignored that level of a previous resistance that means that most likely we can no longer buy the euro usd and most likely now we're looking for a sell opportunity let's now move to the daily chart now on the daily chart as we can see guys now the market has made a, a reversal right here upon the pressure from the previous resistance right here as we can see this was of course a key resistance level as we can see also at 1.10266 uh, 
However, what's happening in my opinion right now is just a pullback and most likely the market is going to be actually respecting that level of a previous resistance right here exactly at 1.10908. Let's just confirm this by looking at the weekly chart. And as we can see, this is actually, guys, a perfect pattern to start selling the market. Once you see a resistance level like that being respected, I mean a real level of a resistance, then facing here a fake breakout, you can be sure that it's going to be your best opportunity to sell the market right here on the real level of the resistance. So again, uh, I'm just really uh, hoping for the best for it, and hopefully it's going to be really a good signal. Uh, now, the good thing here is that if we switch now to the 4-hour time frame, we can see clearly that, uh, that the market has already respected that, uh, respected that level of a resistance twice. This was here a resistance number one. And right here also we can see that the market has also approached the price of 1.10908. Which means this was also a resistance number two. Therefore, let's hope for the best and let's just sell the market exactly right here at the second attempt of the resistance. Right here exactly, which means we have to wait for the market to rise to another 36 pips before we can start selling it. Actually, we can even make it lower than that. Yes, just like that. And just to confirm this by using the Fibonacci retracement, we can see clearly that right now the market is, up, is uh, reversing at Fibonacci 50 and most likely it's going to make the reversal between 50 and 38.2 and most likely it won't be able actually to exceed 38.2 uh, and eventually going to continue the fall. So that being said, I would recommend to start uh, selling the Euro USD exactly right here at the peak of that level of a resistance, right here exactly as we can see at 1.10819 aiming of course the lowest level of a key support level right here at 1.09495 which means our target will be approximately 131 pips of profit meanwhile uh, the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging higher than this level of a previous resistance at 1.11477 for about uh, 65 pips let's now move to the pound usd so the pound usd signal is actually running very well as you can see uh, that level of a previous resistance has indeed been respected and become a new support as well. And even if we switch to the daily chart, we can see clearly right here a new support was born right after retesting that broken level of a resistance. Not only that, but also if we check the support trend line, we can notice that the market is indeed respecting that level of support trend line. And most likely now the pound USD is actually going to continue the rise toward our take profit level. So that means that we can most likely continue holding our positions and continue buying the pound usd now to find a better entry if in case the market has made a pullback i would recommend to buy the pound usd exactly from this level of a support right here exactly at 1.28408 which means i'm just gonna just nudge a little bit only yes just like that exactly just slightly increase or actually um bringing it up and editing the price to be at 1.28408 which means if the market is going to activate our trade, which will going to happen if the market fall to about 30 pips, uh, we are still targeting about 125 pips. Hopefully, guys, this is going to be a good signal and hopefully it will be in profit. Anyway, that's everything for the pound USD. Let's now move to the AUD USD. All right, so actually the AUD USD signal is no longer valid. Actually, we can no longer sell the market. Uh, um, because actually what happened here is that strong bullish breakout candle and let me just zoom in to show it to you so right here we had of course a broken level of a support which actually we thought that it will become a new resistance and it indeed happened for only one single attempt of a resistance what happened next is that the next candle become a bullish one and as we can see right here today just few hours ago or actually even few minutes yeah, a few hours ago, uh, that was for our candle. As we can see, the market has already retested that level of a support, which means it make a pullback right here and continue the rise. So therefore, most likely the AUD USD will indeed continue the rise and we can no longer sell it. So let's just delete everything and start from scratch. Now, where exactly is the best level to start buying the, the AUD USD? Let's first of all move to the, to the daily chart. Now, the daily chart is showing us interesting price action. These three candles right here, also a good price action indicates for a continuation in the rise, which means definitely the AUD USD will indeed continue rising. Now, we need to identify the strongest levels of a key support, and that can be found exactly right there. Check this out. 
this was of course uh, wait a second okay this was of course a strong key support level and this was a strong key support level then in the middle we had here what seems like a fake breakout but check the history also right here it was a strong not a strong key support it was also a support on the daily chart and if we look also in the history again we can notice it's what it was a real level of a resistance and then it was also a support a support a key resistance so as you can see this level guys has never been ignored check this out right here so meaning buying right here exactly at 0 0.67497 is going to be good but the problem that's going to happen after the market fall to another 31 pips so therefore let's just wait for the best moment and we can start actually buying let me just make it even more precise to you exactly right there at 0 0.67557 which means we can actually wait for the market to fall to another 26 pips that's in my opinion gonna be a better level to start buying the AUD USD. uh considering also if we check the fibonacci retracement the market is al almost exactly at 50 not almost exactly almost at 50. therefore uh, our target is gonna be right here the highest level of a resistance aiming approximately 91 pips of profit meanwhile uh the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging a little lower than the uh, support right here for about 47 pips moving now to the usd cad which will also uh, gonna be valid for the buy but the problem is we need to adjust our entry levels let me just delete the entire old signal and let's see now what we can do next with this pair actually if we switch now to the daily chart uh, what we are having right here is really interesting now we can see that the usd cad has indeed been respecting that level of a support and we had here a fake breakout and again right here now the interesting thing is that we are actually at the bottom at the lowest bottom level of the support i mean um also we're having here what seems like inverted head and shoulders pattern which indicates that the usd cad has a has a potential to continue the rise and the good thing here is that this is the daily chart right and if this candle closes just a little bit like this candle right here it, with, with this price action i mean just almost like this one but with a smaller body that will be great that will in indicate that the usd cad is most likely gonna gonna continue the rise because that is a price action that i trust here here it is look at that this is the candle that is the candle exactly the one i'm talking about after the appearance of this candle the market rose as we can see right here that is my friends is really a good sign for the market to continue the rise even right here we can see it after the appearance of this candle the next day the next uh, candle was actually a bullish one so actually if this candle was bullish and closed as it is, as it is which will ha gonna happen after four hours that's gonna be good news for us it will mean that the uh usd cad is indeed gonna continue the rise so therefore let's consider buying the usd cad from that level of a support so moving now to the four hour time frame what we need to do right now is simply identifying the strongest levels of a key support that can be found exactly right there check this out so right here we can see that the market has respected that level of a support repeatedly and occasionally there was of course a fake breakout number one fake breakout number two and fake breakout number three do you notice anything here do you notice anything at all there is a pattern look at that there is a support trend line here and the the fake breakouts are getting uh, smaller it's like shrinking right here we can see a big fake breakout and then another fake breakout but smaller half size of that breakout candle and then another fake breakout half size of that one right here which means that the market is facing a pressure from that level of a strong key support zone and most likely is gonna give up upon the pressure and continue the rise so all of that together tells us that the usd cad is gonna be good to be bought exactly after it falls to another 20 pips and of course if that happens we will actually be aiming right here let me just go to the daily chart uh, we will actually be aiming the highest level of a resistance right here for about i would say 100 and almost 20 pips and the safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the lowest level of a key support right here at 1.31186 for about i would say uh roughly 47 pips let me now write the signal for you and let's now move to the usd gpy all right so as we can see my friends the usd gpy signal uh, actually so far is failing it's uh, ranging uh, near the entry point but i think it's gonna fail and i need to edit this signal as soon as possible so let me just now uh delete everything and let me tell you what we can do next with this signal now actually if we look at the bigger time frame i mean the daily chart and we zoom out right like this now check this out 
what we are having right here is a strong key support level as we can see and the market seems like it's gonna actually approach that level not only that those who are following extreme trader for a long time they know exactly my rules which says that you should always buy the, the new support exactly on the same level of the nearest wick right here to the bullish breakout candle so as you can see right here this was the peak of the wick right here at the this level of a resistance this was the bullish breakout candle and right here is gonna actually be the best level to start buying the market usually that is gonna be where the, uh, the reversal gonna occur and i think it's gonna be a better idea to start buying the uscpy from that level and if i'm not mistaken um it's gonna be a strong level of fibonacci retracement not really as uh, just a little, little bit lower uh it's actually at 38.2 anyway i believe it's gonna be a good level to start buying the usgpy considering that on the left side right here we are having a strong key support level so let's just wait for the usgpy to reach that level to have the best entry possible therefore uh let me just now move, move to the four hour time frame and as we can see exactly the market is just like 51 pips far away from uh, that entry and as you know guys this is nothing for the uscpy uh it's gonna happen in just few minutes if not hours and as we can see right here also we are having that level of a support trend line and check this out this is fantastic exactly that level of support trend line as you can see most likely gonna be also respected it became here for a resistance trend line only for one attempt and then instantly being bro uh, broken out from which means if the uscpy will continue the fall right here it will be facing a lot of pressure from that strong key support level that we have seen on the daily chart plus that support trend line that's actually a lot of pressure on the market and most likely it's gonna make a pullback and at least to reach that level of the resistance right here which is the nearest one to our entry that means that we can actually expect to make approximately 144 pips profit from the USDGPY and the safe zone that shouldn't actually be ranging lower than this level of a support at 139.7768 for about 72 pips let me now write the signal for you moving now to the NZD USD. All right, so as you can see, the NZUSD has already hit our take profit level, but sadly hasn't triggered our buy area. Now, what can we expect next with this pair? Let me first delete uh, this all signal and let's see now what we can do next with this market. Actually, guys, many of you might ask, might assume that we have to sell the NZUSD exactly at that level of a resistance, but actually that's not the case. Um, if we look closer right here, actually, I love this chart. This is actually a, like a perfect chart. It's easy to be analyzed and I think it's gonna um, be a good signal. As you can see right here, guys, we're having a broken level of a resistance trend line. This was, of course, a strong key resistance trend line. And right here, we had the fake breakout from that level. Now, the NZDUSD is most likely approaching the same level of a resistance trend line based, of course, on the daily chart. That means that the NZD USD will most likely ignore that level of a resistance or might actually continue the rise just a little bit higher than this level of a resistance and at the peak of it is gonna start the bearish reversal that means that the for the meantime we are actually going to start buying the NZD USD and as you can see right here that level of a strong key support level cannot be ignored check this out right here exactly now let me just zoom uh, uh, zoom in to show it to you as you can see here also the market has indeed respected that level of a strong key support level at 0 0.61908 no matter what happened no matter what you see it was either a fake breakout a respecting of the support actual support actual support actual support as you can see so it was continuation of reversal or, uh, at that point recently we had here the fake breakout and again we can see that we had also a real support and now pay attention to what happened recently in the nzd usd the market has indeed reversed just now a few minutes ago exactly on that level of a support that means if we switch now to the four hour time frame check this out right here exactly exactly this was the first attempt of the support based on the four hour time frame and right now we can start buying the NZD USD exactly at the second attempt of the support that means that if we do the math also we can see that right here we're having the peak of the resistance but most likely we can actually keep the trade running higher than that it's just 52 pips i mean if we go back to the daily chart we can see that the market has actually a potential to rise till it reach actually that level let me delete this one oops 
uh, delete the trend line, of course I meant, uh, right here, no, no, this one, delete, keep this one, delete this one, keep this one, uh, okay, like that, yes, fantastic. So as we can see, that level of a resistance trend line will most likely be retested before the, the market finally start the bearish reversal. That being said, back to the four hour time frame, our take profit level will be approximately 81 pips, hopefully gonna be in profit. Meanwhile, uh, the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging lower than the lowest level of the support at 0.61535 for about 40 pips only. And moving finally to the gold, which will also remain the same. There is absolutely nothing can be changed about the gold. Uh, the sell is still valid and the market seems like it's going to be trying to make a breakout from that level of a strong key resistance at one uh, sorry 1968.19 so therefore let's keep uh, our uh, hopes here and hopefully guys the market is gonna continue the reversal after rising to another 67 pips now in the end i just want to say guys that it's really not an easy job at all to give signals almost every day is so exhausting you have no idea um i wake up every morning i have to think about the deal of the day even scalping deal of the day uh the midweek analysis the late week analysis the friday analysis the weekly analysis um even the vip signals on telegram guys that is a lot of pressure it's actually killing me sometimes and i'm doing the best i can to deliver to you the best signals uh possible and all for free of course free of cost except of course for the vip where you will receive up to seven signals on your telegram so I hope you guys understand the pressure that I'm living. I actually see, I'm starting to see Forex in my dreams. I mean, just last night, I woke up at um, 2.50 a.m. And for some reason, I had a dream that I was looking at my laptop and my trade was running in $2,400 of profit. And I thought, oh my goodness, that is huge, really? Oh my God, thanks God, thanks God. Then I woke up and I realized it's a dream. I even went to my laptop and opened it to check out. Maybe it was not a dream, but there was no trade running. And yeah, it was just a dream. So it's a funny thing, actually, that I'm I'm actually living the life of a trader of a Forex. I mean, this is really my dream life. But giving signals on YouTube is really a lot of pressure. And I hope you guys understand that um, sometimes the signals might fail. And that is, again, normal. Uh, I will do the best I can, of course, to look at that. Look at that. The uh, euro pound almost reaching the take profit level currently running in about 70 pips of profit really i wish i kept it running it was a good signal so again guys not every signal is going to be good like this one um i'm doing the best i can and hopefully i will provide you tomorrow with another deal of the day and the scalping of the day as well so until then guys i hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching